Highlight the two rows of data you wish to plot. Select Insert, Scatter Graph, select the first option. Right click on the graph and click on Move Chart. Select New Sheet. Name your sheet, for example, T versus R. Select Quick Layout and select the fourth option down. Delete Series 1, it's not required. Add your axis title, select axis title and in the bar type in as required. Select the axis title, click on Home, click on the size of the font to make it bigger. Okay. Next, you want to change these points to crosses. So select the points, right click and click on Format Data Series. Click on the paint can symbol, click on marker, click on marker options, select built in, type, fourth one down, select fill, select the no fill option. You should now have crosses. You can change the colour. So, uh, change the size as as uh, as appropriate. Click right click on the points. Select add trend line. Select the option that fits the data. In this case, I'm going to select power. Next, to try and increase the spread, you want to format the axis. For example, on the x-axis, right-click, Format Axis. So you can change the minimum and the maximum numbers here. For example, here I could select, if I go back to my raw data, the smallest value of R for Mercury. 5.79 times 10 to the power of 10 so I'm going to put in 5 10 to the 10 you can change the major and minor so the minor if I change the minor It was all going so well then. I'll have to go back. Okay, let's redo that. Format axis. Let's change the major 0.5. And you can see now when you change the major, you have a, a smaller increment for the large square. Changing the minor will change the increment for the small square. You can do the same on the y-axis. Back to raw data. Um, your, for your second graph, you want to plot a graph of t squared against r cubed. Let's get rid of this. So type in the heading t squared units second squared Highlight the two, right click, format cell, select superscript. Okay, to square the T, click the cell, enter equals, select the data, um, type shift 6 to get the power sign and you want to the power of 2.
click enter, drag the cell down, and we'll do the same calculation for all the rows. Next, you want R cubed. Click equals, select the data to the power of three, enter, drag that down. To plot a graph, select the rows, insert, scatter. Now you'll notice it's actually plotted r cubed against t squared. Double check. So we want the data the other way round. So if you right click, select the points, right click and go on to format data series. No. That was the wrong option. Change series, no, select data. There we go, select data. Click on edit and you can select the data you want on the x-axis. So on the x-axis we actually want R cubed, which is in the E column. T squared we want on the Y, which is in the D column. Okay, okay, and that should, let's just check, 10 to the 19, T squared 10 to the 19. You now have a graph of T squared against R cubed.